Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to make any screen freely movable on your Android device. Now this isn't your ordinary run of the mill one handed mode mod. Yes it helps with reaching things on a bigger screen but there's a certain cool factor that other similar mods lack. Because instead of just shrinking your screen to make it more accessible, this will actually let you move any screen around like you can with a desktop operating system. But before we get started, you should know that this method will only work if your device has on-screen navigation buttons. It will also require that you're rooted with the exposed framework installed since it involves using two exposed modules. But if you need any help with those requirements, just check out my article on Gadget Hacks. Then to get started, head to the download section of your exposed installer app and search Niwa Tori then tap the top result. From here swipe over to the versions tab then hit the download button next to the most recent entry. After a few seconds Android's installer interface should come right up so tap install on this screen. When that's finished go ahead and tap done then head back to the download section of exposed again. This time though search for gravity box which is what we'll be using to trigger the freely movable screens feature. Now there are a couple of notes that I should make about gravity box. First and foremost, the module works best on AOSP based firmware, so TouchWiz and Sense users will probably have some issues. Secondly, there are three different versions of Gravity Box. One is for Jelly Bean, the second is for Kit Kat, and the third is for Lollipop. And if you see these three versions listed when you search Gravity Box, you'll notice that they each have two letters at the ends of their names. LP means Lollipop, KK means Kit Kat, and JB means, of course, Jelly Bean. So select the entry that corresponds with your phone's operating system version. From here swipe over to the versions tab again and hit the download button to get things going. Again just give it a few seconds to load up then press install on the next menu. From here tap done then head back to exposed one more time. This time around though head over to the modules section. From here tick the boxes next to both Niwatori and Gravity Box. Then use the drop menu at the top of the screen to head to the framework section. Next tap either reboot or soft reboot to finalize your work. When you get back up go ahead and open the Niwatori app that you'll now find in your app drawer. From there head to the settings entry and you really don't need to do anything here but there are a few options that you can adjust if you'd like. Niwatori handles all of the freely moving features of this mod so you can use this menu to change the way those behave. Stuff like animations, what happens when you tap outside of the movable window, and the boundary color for instance. But when you're done with that, head back to your app drawer and open Gravity Box so that we can assign a shortcut to the Niwatori one handed mode features. From here select the navigation bar tweaks option, then toggle the switch at the top of the screen to on. After that back out to the main menu, then scroll down a bit and select navigation keys actions. From here scroll down until you find the recent apps category. Then tap the long press option. Next scroll all the way down to the bottom of this list and select custom action. At this point another menu will pop up. From here use the drop menu to select shortcuts. After that select the one handed mode entry then choose movable screen from the list. Basically what we've done here is make it to where one handed mode will be triggered when you long press your recent apps button. But for those changes to take effect you'll need to reboot your phone one more time. So let me take care of that real quick. When you get back up all you have to do to trigger one handed mode is long press your recent apps button. From here you can move the contents of the screen around freely and this works for any screen. It even works for pop ups in system menus. So you can even bring the notification panel down to a reachable spot. So it's not only awesome looking but it's a functional tweak and it's really easy to trigger when you need to reach something. But for the full breakdown be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com and as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then happy gadget hacking.